Hello there everyone, welcome to Fall Fashion. I hope you are as excited as I am. Give a thumbs up if you are. And this video is brought to you by Farfetch. Every one of these outfits does incorporate a piece from Farfetch. So let's show y'all some fits that I will be rocking. First fit is me out of my comfort zone and I hope you guys can find the inspiration to do so yourselves. I'm rocking these insanely wide leg pants, balloon pants basically, and man was it kind of tough. These pants are from a brand called 5CM that I bought myself from Farfetch because they were decently affordable for this type of pants. And what I really like about these are the draw cords which adds an extra element to the fits kind of like acronym pants. But also the cut is so out there that I really like it. It comes in this light green colorway and I felt like pairing it with the Nike blazers in the maroon colorway. One because maroon is a complement color to green and two because the higher cut will pair really well with the wide leg opening in my opinion i did try these on with some van slip-ons and they do kind of give off those bruce lee vibes i think it looks pretty good and i did try on some more chunkier sneakers because that's what everyone says wider pants chunkier sneakers in my opinion it didn't really look as good sometimes you got to do some trial and error yourself to see what you like then i paired the pants with a slimmer not fitted but more of a regular fit instead of an oversized carhartt hoodie which farfetch was kind of enough to send over and i really dig this hoodie because of the wide I am a sucker for that slate gray washed look. It's not light gray, it's not black, it's the perfect wash. And I did get a size medium because I'm looking to layer this as well. Typically when you pair an oversized hoodie with a more slim jacket, you look puffy and it's not really a good look. Because I'm definitely going to be layering this wash with more slim jackets. And I always prefer smaller low key logos on my tops. And yes, I do have the same piece, you guys have probably seen it before just in a shirt. Then just a simple cap along with the Carhartt sling bag, which was gifted to me as well. And I forgot to mention this is Carhartt W. UIP, which is their work in progress line. These are their more fashion forward pieces while regular Carhartt is really meant for construction workers and all that. Obviously, I'm not a construction worker. Now, I really like the bag because orange and green is always a good combination of colors. I don't really get why they're not complementary colors. Maybe it's because of pumpkins or something like that. But yeah, I think this fit is the definition of fall for me. As we move on to the next, this fit is more for the top of the fall season, end of summer, so it's still gonna be pretty warm, but not peak summer where it's 90 plus degrees and super humid. So let's start off with one of my new favorite shirts, and that is the A Cold Wall Brush Stroke shirt. So I'm typically not into graphic tees. I do have a few, but it's just not my preference. Now patterns, I like something like stripes. This shirt is the perfect mix. It kind of has a graphic with the brush stroke, and it's simplistic while being complex. So this shirt is easy on the eyes, no crazy logos or graphics, but it is strong strong enough within its design to be considered a statement piece. The shirt is very soft, stretchy, and definitely made of premium materials, and you can just tell when you touch the fabric. And the fit is really oversized, definitely not for everyone, has a huge drop shoulder, and I'm really glad I put myself out of my comfort zone, tried on oversized clothes, I can wear extremely oversized clothes or extremely tailored ones, and everything in between. Now the denim is from APC, which was also gifted to me by Farfetch. This denim has a more old school feel, kind of hard to explain, there's no tapering, double knees, or wide relaxed fits it just has the old school vibes and that gray wash really emphasizes that and you can also just tell because there's absolutely no stretch it's very uncomfortable to wear i think we've all been blessed by stretchy denim so yeah they're not as comfortable but i really appreciate the design and how it is cut i paired it with these multicolored sb blazers big fan of these regular blazers like in the last fit are still nice but the sb blazers come with more heel support more durable materials and a zoom cushion insole at the same price because it is meant for skating now if these pants did have stretch i would easily consider this a more skate fit definitely a super chill fit you can go have a session but these are very rigid not much stretch but yeah i really dig the colors it adds a nice pop to an otherwise neutral colored outfit and finally i topped it off with this chicago hat that i got from the sears tower y'all know i love getting stuff at museums and gift shops and all that so i just came back from miami and i got this shirt from winwood walls go support your local businesses anyways i finished it off with this folk bag and it has a tan olive colorway that really complements the rest of the fits and i really enjoyed this one just like i really enjoy shopping at the sponsor of today's video farfetch farfetch is the best place to shop for new and old pieces old collections you might have missed new drops and remember when i said shop local well you technically are with farfetch as they do act as the middleman to mom and pop shops all over the world come on we love that you know some local businesses don't have a huge online presence and farfetch provides that plus sometimes you might find an item on sale from those local shops that you otherwise wouldn't find at the actual brand's website or you just might find some pieces that would normally be out of stock like everyone's already heard of the vans vault models but where are they because vans doesn't even have it on their own site 
sight. Check these out. Farfetch sent over these vault slip-on vans, which are made so much better. They're more durable and they look better because it lacks that black stripe that you get from normal models. And I've looked all over the place at Vans' actual website and they don't have it in stock. So that is why I love Farfetch. They have pretty much every brand that you can think of. And if you want to save money, you can just use my discount code JT10YT. That would have been nice to have that code for myself whenever I got some of these items, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna use it the next time I shop there, which will be after I film this video. I got y'all. Farfetch has got y'all. And thank you, Farfetch, for gifting these items and sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the fits. Up next is one of my favorite fits. You guys know my favorite color blocking style, white sneakers, olive pants, and black top. You've seen me in many variations of this outfit, and yeah, this fit never fails. So let's start off with the Rick Owens Converse Dark Shadow Turbo Chuck 70s. It's basically your low top cream chucks, but with an extended squared off toe and an extended tongue. So I already have big ass feet. I'm a 10 and a half or an 11, and these sneakers just really emphasize how big my feet are. But I don't really care because fashion is all about fun. The pants are the new Y3 cargo pants in the shadow green colorway thank you farfetch for sending these over i was about to buy these myself so i really love these pants but my only gripe is the pretty large cuffs fortunately in the tech wear space this is still seen in some pant designs or maybe i'm just a huge yoji fan i'm just rationalizing everything these are made of ripstop fabric so it can take a lot of punishments there's a ton of pockets regular pockets zipper pockets and they're all stacked on top of each other which gives these pants quite a nice look there's belt loops which should be standard and you don't really notice it until you get a pants that don't have belt loops it's annoying but you can clip your keys to it you can wear a belt and these pants are super comfortable the jacket is from alpha industries it's the classic me1 bomber in a slim fit paired with the uniqlo airism tank top because it's still quite hot outside and because it's so hot i did push up the sleeves just so i can show off the accessories and get a little bit more ventilation the necklace is from acne studios provided by the sponsor and this is just a really nice necklace so it's just a t-shaped anchor with two rings and it makes this look more different and more unique than your average necklace and i'm really enjoying this one then i topped it off with the y3 hats which i did want the logo to show because why not i think the white square patch adds a nice contrast and really completes the outfit in my opinion i've tried it on with just a regular black hat and it didn't really feel complete to me. And you know I cannot go one video without talking about tech wear. And now that it's fall, it's the perfect season because it's been too hot. I've been missing layering. Hell, even filming this video and the outfits for it was too hot as well, but you gotta do it for the content. And I'm trying to find any way to layer. Now the sneakers are the Nike ACG Mountain Fly. These were the first versions, and these are made of Gore-Tex material. And because it is the first version, it has a very simplistic design. It's got a chunky design with an ankle sock area that I think really looks good in tech fits. These are meant for hiking, but they're also quite nice for walking around the city. Now, if you don't like this version, they do have the Mountain Fly Lows, which I think looks better. They have a ton of colorways as well, but it does lose the Gore-Tex materials. The pants are the Deploy Cargos from Nike Lab ACG. My favorite pants of all time. I wear these a ton, and I highly recommend it if you can find a pair. For the top, I'm rocking that same Uniqlo Airism tank top for more breathability because the jacket is a raincoat after all, which is from a cold wall. I just think raincoats, trench coats, any extended length jackets add a, add a really nice element to the fits. And this jacket is water repellent and wind resistant, so it's perfect for those early fall mornings and just late fall in general. What I love about this jacket is the translucent gray material. It gives the jacket some more dimensions, some more texture, rather than just being your regular black raincoat. And the zippers are made from metal. You can just hear them clinking around. It feels very premium. You got your standard pockets, a chest pocket, adjustability in the hood and sleeves area. And yes, I did get this from Farfetch as well, but with my own money, and now my wallet hates me. And last but not least is a fit with color. I think I needed it with all these outfits. All these outfits have been black and olive or just very neutral. This has some color. You're welcome. So the denim jacket is from 5CM. It's pre-color blocks, so it has your standard wash and your extra light wash. And it kind of has that patched denim look without any patches. Definitely the statement piece of this outfit. And then I got the same Airism tank top in white because I just think white and light denim pair really well together. If I wore a black tank top, I think it would have looked weird. Just my opinion though. And the pants are one of my favorites as well. These are the Alpha Industries Jet Cargos. These are made out of ripstop fabric. They're very comfortable to wear. Has knee articulation, very stretchy. And it does have that straight cut relaxed fit, which I really enjoy. And because because of that military vibe, I did pair it with these sneaker boots from A Cold Wall and Converse. 
I've been wearing a lot of a cold wall in this video. But yeah, I would consider these a sneaker boots. These are water repellents, has a nice sleek gray colorway. Very simplistic with its design, but really stands out. And to top it all off, I have a bunch of jewelry from Vitaly. And because of the denim jacket, I thought why not lean into it and throw on a sling bag from Fundamental Denim. It's a brand I highly recommend. If you want that Japanese denim vibes, check them out. And overall, I do like this fits, but it does give off more spring vibes. So with that, I think if I threw on a beanie or some sort of headwear, I think it would have really completed this fit, made it lean more towards the fall time. By the way, I like the fit. All right, y'all, those are my fall outfits. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found some inspiration. Let me know what fit was your favorites in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Fly with Johnny Ty. And until then, stay fly, check out Farfetch Deuces.